Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about the Anvil Hurricane, which is the next concept ship to go on sale, um, and a little bit about concept sales in general. Originally planned as a possible third starter ship, the Anvil Hurricane was the least popular choice, uh, with only 11% of a vote in a poll to choose what was going to be that additional starter ship that eventually the Misk Reliant won. So the evolution of that ship, the original concept blurb for the Anvil Hurricane was some ships avoid dangerous encounters with speed, some with stealth and others with maneuverability. The Anvil Hurricane's philosophy is that it should be able to blast anything that gets in its way out of the sky. The Hurricane won't run any races and its electronic signature won't let you sneak behind enemy lines, but it features a wide range of fully customizable small bore weapon hardpoints plus the ability to customize weapon types in several ways. Hurricanes are often used in militia squadrons and private organizations seeking to ha add a heavy to their lineup. So coming from its original description, some people have suggested the ship might be a glass cannon fitted with a large amount of like size one or size two weapons. Eight, for example, lots of weapons. Pew, pew, pew. Um, we do, however, have a large amount of medium and light fighters available already. It's important to mention that these ships can uh, be extremely evolved and detached from these kind of very early concept blurbs from a year or two ago. Anvil, um, which should probably still be its manufacturer, are typically a military and combat manufacturer. We also know that they produce the um, F7 Hornets and the F8 Lightning, and the F8 Lightning is a heavy fighter. We don't really have many heavy fighters in game, if any. Um, it's quite possible the Hurricane will be an older heavy fighter. That's my current feeling. And the only other heavy fighters really uh, are the F8 that they're concepting at some point. Um, although they did say that they probably wouldn't sell that. They may sell a civilian version of the F8 and we'll come on to that a little bit later. I'd also classify some of the Vanguards as heavy fighters too. Um, I suspect that if it is a heavy fighter, it will be restricted by being an older heavy fighter. So power plants, engines and such may prevent the ship from being outfitted with certain weapons and items, or at least if you do put a load of um, quite powerful guns on it, it might cause some problems with um, power or heat usage. So what is a heavy fighter when I say heavy fighter? A heavy fighter um, in like World War II and um, aircraft sense is a fighter aircraft designed to carry heavier weapons or operate at longer ranges to achieve acceptable performance. Most heavy fighters were twin-engined and had multi-pace crews. Um, so multi-crew ships, obviously, that sounds like a, a vanguard or uh, something that we might get um, with that uh, hurricane, possibly a two-seater two craft or something. Although numerous modern fighters could be called heavy with regard to their weight, the term is generally no longer used as missiles became the standard weapon for air combat. Any fighter of any size could be successful in combat against almost any other target, making the distinction between heavy and light fighters less relevant. So what are we expecting price-wise uh, and when? So I don't have a hard date or price on that concept sale yet. I would expect it to be possibly coming out with a 2.6.1 uh, to live release, so within a few weeks, uh, almost certainly between now and the middle of March because we have um, things like packs um, in various places going on. If it is a heavy fighter, I'd expect it to be around 200 to $250 as a concept scale, uh, excluding taxes. I will update these details in the description as soon as we know more, probably put them as annotations around as well. But I thought people would want to just kind of know my thoughts, even though I'm just pulling those figures out my ass. A well-educated ass, but a, a, an ass nonetheless. Um, it is possible that the Hurricane will fulfill another role. There's lots of things that it could do, um, and we have seen like the Terrapin um, that was concepted previously fulfill a different role than was originally concepted or the original idea was. So these concept sales help fund the game, but you certainly do not need to purchase this kind of ship with real money. A starter package will give you everything you need to get into Star Citizen now. You can always buy a ship later if you wanted. You can also rent ships in Arena Commander, the dogfighting module just by playing. All ships will be obtainable in-game with the UBC, um, which is the in-game currency, or be able to be captured or via missions uh, as soon as that game is released. So just bear that in mind, you only need a, 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 cons a starter ship. Uh, I actually really like concept uh, sales and concept ships. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't stifle or slow down the progress of the development of the game, um, as it's like separate people doing it. Uh, a few talented artists and modelers can create 
a ship that generates a huge amount of money or a large amount of money for CIG uh, and generates more money for the game that they're pouring the money back into, um, as well as making the verse more diverse and flavorful. And I quite like that. Obviously, I would prefer to get gameplay progress and more tangible gameplay as well as more ships. Um, after the hurricane in 2017, we should see some other concepts in no particular order. Uh, the Aegis Eclipse, the Origin 600, uh, a new Banu ship, um, I'm very much suspecting that. Uh, the Xi'an Volpa Bomber, um, possibly the F-8C, which would be the civilian version of the uh, F-8A, which I'm assuming will be the military version, and possibly a jet bike of some kind as well, because they kind of hinted that there may be a jet bike. But tell me if you're excited for any of the concept ships that may be coming out this year. Are you getting... Um, Anything else other than just a starter pack? Well, you just got to stick with that starter pack. Um, screw the ships, where's 3.0? If that's your opinion, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to hear all your opinions. Your comments not only influence the direction of my channel and videos, but I also give you a chance to win a ship each month just by commenting too, um, which is for the month of February, I um, Avenger Titan. That's the words. I couldn't think of words then. Uh, links to everything we've talked about uh, and the giveaway rules in the description, as well as my own version of a Star Citizen timeline uh, with patch info, concept plans, uh, bits about gameplay and ships and all that sort of jazz, as well as guesstimated timescales. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I will see you in the verse.